Okay, today I'm working on a Mercruiser Bravo 3. It's got a speedometer that's not working. I looked on the internet for uh, ways to, uh, to um, improve the situation. I took a 564 drill bit. There's a little inlet hole at the bottom. You just put the drill bit in and out of this hole. I boat with this boat quite a bit on a river system. There's a lot of mud and sand, and I'm sure some mud and sand have gotten up in this system between the lower hole and the uh, speedometer uh, reading uh, valve at the top. This goes up to the speedometer at the front of the boat, and when you're uh, going through the water, the pressure that's exerted at this uh, hole here uh, is transferred to speed up on your speedometer. You never want to drive pressure through this uh, tubing up to your speedometer. That will ruin your speedometer. So what I did is again, uh, I put the uh, drill bit in the hole at the bottom. There was quite a bit of blockage that was in the hole and thought that would help. And then at the top, what I did is there was a zip tie that was up here at the top where this connector is and I disconnected it from the speedometer. So there's the speedometer tubing that now is uh, connected to just air. And I went to the local hardware store and bought some 3 16 inch inner diameter tubing and I put it on the speedometer connector and then it's kind of a tough spot to get into but you just uh, connect that bayonet connector into the hole and then you twist so it locks in place and then this tubing what I did is I took my air compressor and I shot compressed air in here and it was still blocked. I could feel the tubing expand and contract as I was putting compressed air in here indicating that there was a blockage between the uh, compressor connector and the hole at the bottom of the uh, Bravo 3 unit. That was all the information that was on the internet and that's why I thought I'd post this video. Then what I did is um, I went to Walgreens and I purchased uh, a lure slip syringe the lure lock syringe is this one here. It locks into a connector for uh, uh, various types of uh, procedures into onto needles. And then there's a lure slip type, which is the type you need. I'll actually put a link on uh, this video so you can find this type of syringe at your local Walgreens or CVS. Then I mixed a solution of Dawn detergent, just a couple of drops of Dawn detergent and some warm water into a cup. And I drew it up into the syringe. And again, this is going down into the lower unit. This tubing is connected to the lower unit. And I connected the syringe and I started pumping the Dawn detergent solution in. It was kind of hard to press it in at first. And then I did is just use the pumping action to pump that Dawn detergent and that warm water down into the blockage. I uh, did that uh, several times with the warm water. Uh, again, drew up some more of that liquid water and uh, Dawn detergent in the syringe and kept pumping and pumping. And pretty soon it broke loose and then what I did is I took the uh, air compressor and I blew it out and you can see that the line is perfectly open now I was a little bit concerned about getting down detergent uh, up into the uh, speedometer tubing so then what I did uh, just drew up some some plain water with the syringe and did some more irrigation with the plain water to get all the Dawn detergent out of the lower unit and then once I irrigated that a couple times with the syringe, then I put the uh, air compressor on and hit the compressed air and blew out the unit. And I'm very confident now that my speedometer is going to work because this was clearly blocked before and now it's wide open. I hope this helps you with your lower unit and uh, getting uh, any debris or blockage out of that uh, tubing system between the lower unit and the connector at the top.